adding a policy in Genesis now. The first thing that you're going to do when you add a policy is you're going to go into the client. And as you can see, I'm in my client. I'm going to go down to the policy list and right over to the right, I'm going to press the plus sign. And once I press that plus sign, it's going to open up the screen and ask me what type of policy do I want to add? I'm going to add a boat policy. Okay, here's the empty policy screen. You can see right here that this is the policy for the boat. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a policy number if I have one. Then I'm going to enter the company. All right, you're going to add your producer, whether or not this is a quote. I'm going to say that it's an active policy. If I know my source, if it was a referral, who it was referred by. This is a 12 month term. I'm going to make it effective the 15th of October, my premium, 500 a year, and it's a company pay plan. Did I have continuous? I'm going to say no because it was a new purchase. Now, in that corner over there, like I always say, if you see that green box pop up, let's hit save just to be safe. Right here, I'm going to enter my liability coverages. If there's med pay for the company that you wrote the boat in, then you would add your med pay there and your UM, UIM. UMPD and I'm going to save. Over here, I'm going to add the type of boat. Now this is the same for motorcycle. This is the same for auto. It just so happens I'm entering a boat policy at this time. So I'm going to hit that plus sign like we do throughout Genesis to add things and I'm going to put in my information. And my VIN number. If you know the symbol, of course there's not airbags, and you can continue to fill this out for the boat. Water unit type, I'm going to put that it is a bass boat. This is where I'm going to put in my serial number for my motor or for my engine. Okay, so I'm going to say it's um, that and it is 80 horsepower. 16, it won't go over 50, it's fiberglass, it's inland waterways, and it is an outboard, no, it's not chartered, no commercial use, no racing, no crew, and no water skiing. It's garaged at my home, so I can select my home address and it will just enter it in there if there's a lien holder. I'm going to enter it here. If the lien holder is not listed in here, of course you know to do the plus sign to add that lien holder. Over to the right, if we have physical damage on this, I'm going to choose comp. I'm also going to choose collision. If I have some water towing, so I'm going to put in my, my comp, my collision, and 100 towing. Now, as you notice, when I go in to add this vehicle, there's no save button, but it's okay. It does automatically save. So I'm going to go ahead and close there, and then I'm going to add my driver information. I can copy my first name insured here. Let's say he's an insurance agent. State of birth. Social. Primary driver. close. All right, and since he is married, I'm going to add his wife. All I have to do is close. Now I have my policy information here, the coverages information here, the boat information, and driver information. Now if I want to scan in my application or the deck page, of course I would go over to media files and add them there. So that's how you add a policy. If you have any questions, you can call us at 828-245 1171. Be sure if this video was helpful to you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.